Hello na ba? Nakikita nyo na ba yung screen natin? Hello? Nakikita nyo na ba? Open your mic kapag may tanong akong mag-open kayo ng mic. Please don't uh, use the inbox. Kasi hindi ko yan babasahin. So, mas maganda mag-open kayo ng mic. Ayora, nakikita na ba yung slide natin? Hello. Yes po, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes po. Thank you. Thank you for yes, po. Yes, sir. Yes, po. Yes, let's start. So, once again, welcome to our pre-calculus class. This is our first meeting online, no? I think this is our first kasi Monday. Hindi ko ay na-meet kasi nag-exam tayo. No? Ang na-meet ko is mga Tuesday schedule. So, hindi ko ay na-meet. So, ito. So, dalawa yung lesson natin. So, day number two, differentiating a series from a sequence. And day number three is illustrating the principle of mathematical induction and applying mathematical induction in proving identities. First, let's have a quick icebreaker. So, meron akong isang tanong dito. Uh, simply move one to make uh, to make it liquid. So mag-move tayo ng isa dito para maging liquid yung nakikita nyo yung mga vertical lines dyan. No? Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So ano yung gagawin natin to make it liquid? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So mag-move lang tayo ng isa para maging liquid siya. Okay? Any idea guys? Okay, pag-anahin muna natin, warm up natin sa ating mga utak before we proceed to the main topic. Yeah. How are we going to make this one into liquid form? Just simply move one to make it liquid down. So, any idea, amigas? Would you like to try to answer? Hello? 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 Step one, two, three, and four. Yes, sir. Yes? Ano gagawin natin? Ano gagawin natin? Patumbahin po. Patumbahin mo natin yung alin? Sir. Yes? Sir, yung number 5, ipunta po natin sa 2 and 3 sa gitna nila. Gitna nila. Ng pahiga. Sige, gawin natin. Yan. So, gawin ko yung, kunin ko daw yung number 5, pahiga natin. Tapos, anong gagawin? Sir, ipupunta po sa gitna ng 2 and 3. Iyan natin sa 2 and 3. So, liquid na ba? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next. Okay, once again, welcome to our online class in Free Calculus Day number 2 and Day number 3. And again, I'm Mr. Vol. You can call me Sir Vol na lang, no? Once again, series and sequence. Lesson number, uh, lesson objectives. We're going to define here the sequence and the series. Aside from that, we're going to solve problems involving sequence and series nito. And of course, the uh, sigma notation or what we call the uh, summation. Yeah. So let's have the sequence. So what is sequence? No? A sequence po is, it could be unordered. No? So pwede natin siyang tawagin na uh, ordered list. So pasensya nyo yung sulat natin. Ha? So sequence, it could be an ordered list of numbers or real numbers. When we say real numbers, no? So, real numbers. Yeah, real numbers has a symbol of big letter R. And real numbers is all, is the mother of all numbers. Why? Because real numbers under niya si whole numbers. So, what are the whole numbers? Anyone? Anyone from the class? What are the whole numbers? Hello? Can you give me... Yes. You know, Miss... Arieta? What are the whole numbers? Can you give me an example of whole numbers? Yes, open your mic. Kapag alam yung sagot, open the mic. Yes? Sir, yung whole number po, ano yung mga numbers without integers? Without what? Without... Without fractions. Without fractions, it could be, but that is not the exact answer. Anyone? Thank you for trying. How about Pinero? Michaela? Positive, positive numbers. Positive numbers, it could be, but nice try, but this is not the 
exact answer. That is not the uh, exact answer po. Again, whole numbers. Can you... Their whole numbers po are numbers that do not include fractions, negative numbers, or decimal po. Yes, it could be. Can you give me a specific uh, example for whole numbers? For example, po, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 is a whole number, including what? Including 0, po. Very good. That's it. That is the correct answer. When you say whole number, it is started from 0. 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. So what is the meaning of three dots when it comes to mathematics? And so on. And so on, it could be, yes, another answer. Infinity. Yes, correct. Infinity. Sir, infinity, infinity. Infinity. Very good, infinity. In English term, what is three dots? In English term, what is three dots? Aside from so on and so on. Come again. Continuation. Continuation, it could be. Yes, come again. Ellipsis. 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 That is the correct yes, answer. So the answer here is the ellipsis po, or it could be infinity. There's no ending when it comes to math, no? So ellipsis po ito. E L L I P S I S. Yan. And then yung mga terms natin, ha? Wala lang po siya sa exam. So whole numbers, when say whole numbers, is under siya ng real numbers, no? Whole numbers start from 0, 1, 2, 3. And aside from that, meron tayong tinatawag na natural numbers. Yeah. So natural numbers, the symbol for natural numbers is big letter N. And natural numbers, it could be uh, counting numbers. Yeah. Uh, ang natural number, guys, uh, guys, is tinatawag din siyang counting numbers. From the word itself, counting numbers. So can you give me a specific example of natural numbers? Anyone? Oh, no? Sinabi na doon, counting numbers. So what is the specific example of counting numbers? What are those numbers, guys? Ano yung mga natural numbers na meron tayo? Natural is a counting numbers. So, yes? Uh, Miss Aquino. Miss Aquino ng side 2. Counting numbers po from... For starting to one that does not include that's it when you see counting numbers start from one two three and so on and so forth and aside from that we have the third one the third one here is the integers and so what are the numbers in the integers but before that Sir. the symbol for integers is letter z yes what what are the numbers inside the integers Sir, sir, any number that is below to zero? Any number that is below zero? Tama ba yung pagkakarinig ko? Yes, sir. Uh, it could be, pero hindi siya sakto, no? Kasi it could, uh, hindi, siya pwedeng, uh, hindi lang siya pwedeng maging below zero. Pwede rin siyang maging ano? Positive and negative, sir. Very good. Then si integers... The numbers uh, are numbers that have a negative and a positive sign. It could be a zero, it could be negative one, it could be two, it could be three, and so on and so forth. Thank you so much for answering my question. And last, so lagay na natin dito yung last. Yung pang last is the rational numbers. So what is rational or irrational? Ganyan, so... Focus tayo sa rational. Rational has a symbol of Q. The symbol for rational is Q. And when we say rational, what are the numbers inside the rational? Anyone? Yes. Um, Jan Emmanuel. June? Uh, Jan po. Okay, Half, po. Half po. Half po. Half. Yes po. Half or one half? Up one half. Very good. The one half, it could be a fraction. Yeah, and so these are the four types of numbers. And the mother of all numbers is real numbers. Let's go uh, go back to the main lesson. So yeah, nag-review lang tayo ng real numbers and yung apat and four types of numbers. Para familiar kayo, no? So allow me to erase this one. And then magawa na lang tayo ng box. Yeah. So come on, uh, once again, sequence is an ordered list of numbers. And aside from that, 
when we see sequence, it follows a particular pattern. Yeah. So the bottom line here is we're going to follow a certain pattern. Yeah. Then po papasok si sequence. And for example, ng sequence, uh, let's say three, five, seven, and nine. So three, five, seven, and nine is a perfect example of sequence. As you can see, there is an ordered list of numbers and it has a pattern. What is the pattern? It has the Sir, have the different yes. Sir, lahat po in Very good. Or they have the diff common difference of two. That's it. Thank you so much. And and when it comes to sequence, there is a word term. Meron tayong tinatawag na term or element or member. Come again. So yung 3, 5, 7, 9 is a sequence. And then yung 3, it could be a first. This is the second. This is third. And this is the fourth one. Yeah. So first, second, third, and fourth. Sir, paano pag nilagyan ko ng 11? So yun yung pang fifth and so on and so forth po. As long as may pattern po tayo, no? And pag nilagyan ko ng 3 dots, ibig sabihin, dire-diretso lang yan. Sabi kanina, kung sino yun, si uh, ellipsis po ang ating sika. Okay? Yung first, second, third, and fourth na yan, ang, yun yung position nila. Okay? This is the real uh, relative position. And relative position is what we call the domain. Okay? This is what we call domain. Ayan. This is what we call domain. The meaning of the domain is the relative position, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Depende yan kung babaguhin ng uh, given yung problem. Paano pag ang binigay, sir, is yan, 3, 5, 7, 9. Uh, at yung problem binigay dun is the second term, the third term, uh, ganyan, may, may, may mga ganong tanong eh. Okay, what is the third, fourth one? What is the fifth? Yeah, depende yan. Pero, when say uh, domain, the relative position is commonly uh, used is one. Or one, two, three, and so on. So once again, domain is the relative position. So what is 3, 5, 7, 9? 3, 5, 7, 9, ang tawag natin dyan is range. Which is the actual term. Okay? What is the meaning of range again? This range is the actual terms. And what is the domain again? Domain is the relative position. And again, this is 3 is what we call terms. Yeah. So what is 5, sir? It also called term. Term, term, term. So we have 4 terms here in our example, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. And aside from that, the term it could be a member. No? Pwede natin siyang tawaging member or it could be an element. Okay. So, tatlo ang tawag sa kanya. Hindi lang siya tinatawag na term, no? It could be a member, element, and a term. Yan po. So, tatlo ang tawag sa kanila, ha? So, yung first, second, third, and fourth is the relative position, which is the domain. And the okay. 3, 5, 7, and 9, the range, which is the actual term. And term is called to which numbers of a sequence. Yung 3, 5, 7, 9 is a term kung saan ang meaning ng term is which the numbers of the sequence. Okay? So, I hope na gigets nyo yan. So, may tanong po ba kayo sa sequence? Hello? Wala po. Wala po. Next, aside from that, we have two types of sequence. Any idea what are the two types of sequence? Sir, finite tsaka infinite. Very good. So, we have the finite. We have finite and infinite. What is the difference of the two? Yes. Sir, yung... Sir. Yes, go ahead. Finite is... Sir, yung... Sir, yung finite... Um, um, finite contains a finite number of terms tapos yung infinity po contains an infinite number of terms. Can you give me an example? Sir, kumbaga po pag finite po, sir, um, may specific number lang po siya na hanggang dun lang po. What tapos are those numbers? Can you give me an specific sir, numbers? Finite, from one. finite po, sir, from 1 to 10. Okay, 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lalagyan ko ba ng dot, dot, dot o hindi na? Sir, hindi na po. Okay, how about infinite? Can you give me an example of infinite numbers? Sir, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Okay, very good. 1, 2, 3. Don't forget, it, if, if, if it has an ellipsis symbol, that is infinite. Thank you so much for sharing your ideas to us. And that is the two types of sequence, as simple as that. And po, as simple as that po, yun lang po yun talaga, wala nang iba. When you see finite, it's a limited, you can count, there's an ending. When you say infinite, no stopping, yan. So, dira-diretso yan, no? Parang yung pagmamahal mo sa kanya, finite, may katapusan. And, pa, mas maintindihan natin, bigay tayo ng uh, magandang example when it comes to finite and infinite. No? Yung isa nga mga, ano nga, si Rizal, sabi, may mga, ano siya, infinity and beyond. Yeah. So, state whether the following set is infinite or finite. So, what is the answer in number one? Is it finite or infinite? Answer? Go, sabihin nyo lang. Number one is... Finite, sir. Number one is finite. 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 Finite is wrong. Infinite. Infinite. Why? Because you're not sure. 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 You and what is the answer number two? Infinite. 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 Okay, how about number three? Finite. 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 Why is it finite? Why is it finite? Infinite. 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 Sir, kasi may hangganan po yung... May hangganan. Mali. Ano bang tanong? What is fractions? Bakit, pag naglagay ka ba ng fractions, matatapos ba yan? 1, 2, 1, 3. Ganyan. 1.01, 1.0.2. Uh, ano ba yung gitna ng 1 and 2? Diba? 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Yung pong na, dinagayin ko ng 8. 9, 9, 9, 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Finite ba siya? Sir, that's infinite. Though. Very infinite. good. This is infinite. Very infinite, sir. Infinite, sir. May introduce. So, gets nyo yung, ano, yung uh, concept? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, number sir. four. Yes, sir. What is the answer in number four? Finite. Sir, finite. 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 Why is it finite? finite. Bakit finite? Napakarami sir, niya. Sir, kasi speech, maraming tao, sir. Infinite. Maraming tao, <laughs> pero what? Ay, sa Indian, may number po siya. Kung ilan yung tao doon. Very good. Maraming tao, pero meron tayong tinatawag na census. Namomonitor nila kung ilan yung tao doon. So, that's why finite. Okay? Ano yan? Minuto-minuto, nanganganak sila. Hindi naman. I mean, hindi nila matrace kung ilan yung... Yung, isa, uh, yung isang population ng isang bansa. Matitrace nila yan. Ha? That's why finite. Hindi siya pwede maging infinite kahit na napakaraming uh, tao sa India. How about number five? Infinite po. Infinite po. Infinite. 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 Infinite, sir. Infinite, sir. Infinity. Di ba ang dami-dami prime numbers? Ano ba ang prime numbers? What are the prime numbers? The numbers that has no? Factors. Very good, that's it. How about number seven? Set of leaves on a tree. Infinite. Infinite, sir. Number seven is? Number seven is? Infinite. Infinite. Narinig ko, infinite tapos finite. Sir, number 7, finite. Why? Why is it finite? Sir, kasi... Kasi, meron silang... Sir, yung set of characteristics. Meron ang characteristics. Sa isang tree lang, sir. Yeah. Meron isang karakteristik ang puno na kung saan limited lang yung leaves niya, okay? 
So, masasearch nyo yan, lalabas doon na mayroon pong specific na number of dips of, ng isang puno. Okay, that's why finite. Okay, number 8. What is the answer in number 8? Finite. 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 Infinite yan ah. Diba hindi yun matatapos kahit nasa 7 siya mag-start. 7, 14, 21. Yes, matatapos ba yun? Yes, sir. Infinite, diba? Next, how about number 10? Oh, there's an ellipsis. Infinite, sir. Infinite. 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 Is it clear po? Is it clear now? What is the definition or the difference between finite and infinite? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's move on to the second one. Of course, the series. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng series at ng sequence? So, kanina, kung babalikan natin, no, ang meaning ng sequence is an ordered list of numbers which, ha which has a pattern. But when it comes to series, this is the sum. Okay? Ito na yung sum. Sum ng sequence. No? Sum of a sequence. So, ibig sabihin, kung babalikan natin ang meaning ng sequence, titignan nyo doon, may mga uh, mayroon siyang terms na tinatawag or member or element. Okay? Yun po yung sequence, no? Kung titignan mo yung binigay natin na example kanina, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9, pag, uh, uh, pag pinag-add daw natin iyon, ang tawag doon is series. Gets po? Nagets po ba? Yes po. Okay, for yes, example, sir. Yes, sir. Give an example of yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if we're going to get this uh, one using based from the definition the binigay ko, sum of a sequence, the answer here, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 15. plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. And that is the, what we call series. Gets what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you know? Yes, sir. Pag-adin mo lang. Pag may calculator ka, input, input, then that's it. Kuha mo na yung tamang sagot. Ganyan lang po. Okay? So, anong tawag natin sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? Anyone? Anong tawag natin sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? Terms. Terms. Kuhan po, sir, sequence. It could be a sequence. Aside from that, anong ginawa natin? Ah, wait, wait, wait. Bago tayo tumungo dun sa... Inad, sir. Yes, yes. Tama yun, tama yun. Pero malilito kayo kapag pinaghalo-halo ko ang sigma at ng series. So, sige, tawagin natin ito para clear. This is the sequence of the given problem, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you're going to get the series of the sequence or the term, the answer will be 15. At yun na yung tinatawag na series. So, mamaya makikita natin ang difference ng sigma, series, at ng sequence. So, ito, series lang po. Ang gagawin nyo lang, add, add, add lang. Wala nang iba. Siya lang sapat na. Yan. Sigma notation. What is sigma? First time nyo bang marinig ang word na sigma? Yes or Sir, no? no? No. So, can you give me the symbol of sigma? Sir, yung parang M na nakabaliktad. Very good. Yung M na nakabaliktad sa left. Yan. So, this is sigma. Ano ang ibang tawag dyan? Summation. Oh. Very good. Summation. Yan. Ibig sabihin, isa sum po siya. Sir, bakit po, kung ang meaning lang naman nito is summation from the word itself, sum, so parang di, parang parehas lang siya, sir, sa series. Kasi dito, sir, sum ang meaning niya, which is nag tayo. Kasi kapag, if you're going to apply the concept of sigma notation, sir, the summation is adding all the sequence. Yes, tama. When it comes to series, this is for short uh, numbers lang. Meaning, yung mga maliliit na number. Ito naman, yung sigma, pang malakihan na. Okay? Mean, ibig sabihin po, ang meaning niya, it is a method, no? This is the metho method na ginagamit natin to write out para mas maikli. Ito natin. To write out. To write out along uh, 
sum yan in concise way yan so ginagamit natin po ang sigma notation to use write out a long sum in a concise way so para mas maikli na at hindi na may mahirapan ang gagamitin natin is sigma notation so bigay tayo ng perfect example ng sigma notation this is the mission which ha we have the upper limit which is 4 and the lower limit which is n is equal to 1 and we have the base of 2n yan po when it comes to uh, pre-calculus meron tayong upper and lower and yung n is what we call the index yan. so ang tawag dyan is index so lower part is the index the upper part is your upper limit and we have the 2n is the base so, sir, paano ba basahin yan? So, when it comes to pre-calculus naman, ang pagbabasa niyan is summation, lagay natin, summation, mahalo mo ba sa exam eh? So, summation of 2n as n is equal to equal to 1 to 4. Yan. I repeat, summation of 2n as n is equal to 1 to 4. So, why is it 1 to 4? So, you can see in our index, n is equal to 1. In the upper or the last number is 4. So, hanggang 4 mo lang daw siya i-sasubstitute. So, I, again, how to read this one? Summation of n, summation of 2n, as n is equal to 1 to 4. To compute this one, simply lang. Okay. So, 2n is our formula. So, using 2n, we're just going to compute this one using sigma notation. Start from 1 to 4. So, 2 times 1. Add natin 2 times 1. 2 times 2. Then 2. 2 times 3. 2 times 3. Then plus 2 times 4. So, what is the sum now? Sir, 31. 31. 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3 times 4. The answer here is? 3, 6, 31. This is 2. This is 4. This is 6. This is 8. Parang 20 lang yung nabilang ko. Ha? 25. Sobra po, sir. Okay yan. 31. Parang lagi yung 31? 20 lang po. 20, di ba? 20 lang. 20, sir. 20, 20 lang, ah. So, ganyan lang siya, ha? Di ba, madali lang? Alam nyo ba kung paano gumamit ng calculator? May calculator na ba kayo? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, huwag kayo yes, malala. Oh. Marami tayong matutunan sa calculator natin na shortcut. At yun, ang aking tuturo along the way, matututunan nyo yung mga shortcut natin. Okay, again, sigma notation, ganyan lang po siya kung paano siya atakihin. Alright. Again, anong tawag? Sa 1, let Anong tawag sa 1, 2, 3, 4, at 5? Answer? Sequence. Sequence. Oh. Yes, sequence. Okay, so sequence, to be specific. Ano yan? Ano yung term, 1? Term member. Term. <laughs> yes, it's a term, a member, member or of element. an element. Next. Again, what is the domain? Sinabi ko kanina, domain and range. Domain is? Relative. Relative, Relative, sir. Relative. Relative position. How about the range? What is the range now? Actual term. Okay, actual terms. Okay, relative position and actual terms. Let's solve the following problem. Ready na ba kayo mag-solve? Madali lang daw. Okay, so find the first five terms of the sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to n minus 3 raised to n. So, sabi niya doon first 5 terms. So, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Where our first term, a sub 1, is equal to, and where n is equal to 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po, if our n is equal to 1, we're going to substitute na po using this formula, n is equal to 1. So, lahat ng makikita mong n, palitan mo ng 1. And what is our a sub 1 here, guys? Hello? 2, sir. The answer here is? Two, is it 2? Negative 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. The answer here is negative 2. Next. 
we have n is equal to 2 and then a sub 2 now here is 2 minus 3 raised to 2 answer 1 1 2 the answer one. here is one. 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 Before we proceed to the third one, what is the answer here? What is negative two raised to two? Answer. Four. Zero. Four. 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 What is Positive negative four. two raised to one? A uh, raised to two. Four. 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 Okay. How how about this? Negative three raised to two. Answer. Nine, sir. Nine. What is negative two raised to three? Negative, sir. Negative. Eight. Negative eight, sir. Okay. So, tignan natin kung tama yung masagot niyo. Okay, the first one. The first one is correct. The second one is wrong. The third one is wrong. And the fourth is correct. So, correct natin yung mga mali. Add. If the base of your number has an exponent of 2 but we don't have a sign of parenthesis, okay, kapag walang parenthesis, dapat isama niyo yung negative. Gets po? Sundan? Hello? Yes, sir. Kapag may parenthesis, sir, po, yes, po, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May, yes. Ano yan? Sir, pa ulit, sir, kasi po may naka-open po na may kanina. Ah, okay, okay. Nyare, may binigay sa inyo na problem. Tapos, negative 2 raised to 2. Dapat ang sagot nyo dyan, negative 4. Hindi siya 4. Ito, dapat ang sagot nyo dito, negative 9. Why is it negative 9? Kasi nga, hindi kasi siya... Kasi wala pong parenthesis. Wala pong parenthesis. Yun yung pinagkaiba niya sa may parenthesis. Kahit na may negative yung... Uh, negative 2 mo, pero may parenthesis siya, syempre, still, positive siya, ha? So, how about this? 180 raised to 0. Answer? 1, sir. 1. Very good. A number raised to 0. Any number, that, any number raised to 0 is always 1. Okay, alright. Let's move on to number 3. Can you solve number 3 now? Go. What is a sub 3? What is a sub 3? What is a sub 3, guys? 0. Very good. Zero. It's 0. How about a sub 4? 1. Four. It's one. 1. How about a sub 5? 32. Po. Very good. It's 32. Questions po? May tanong. May tanong po ba sa first problem? Voila. Next. Write the first two terms of the sequence whose nth term is given by the formula. So, kukunin daw natin yung first two terms niya. So, since this is a sub n is equal to n, so, kunin nyo yung first two terms ng first formula natin and then dito rin para sa dito. So, kunin natin. a sub 1 is equal to 1 all over 1 squared plus 1. So, answer po. Hello? Come again? One half. One half. Okay, can you give me the A sub 2 now? What is the second term? Second term here is? What? One. Two fifth. Very good. It's, Zero. it's two fifth. Second term is two fifth. Next. What is the first term of this one? Answer? Zero. Zero. How about the Zero second percent. term of the right side? Right three. Three, 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 four. Four. three. The answer is three. Diba? Dali-dali lang. Ganyan lang po. Ganyan na ganyan. Ang gagawin ninyo sa quiz at exam. Okay na. Uh, minus. Oh, minus one. Tignan mo. Diba? Pag one squared... Minus 1, or the still 1, 1 squared is 1. That's why 0. Here naman, 2. 2 squared minus 1 is 4. Minus 1 is 3. That's why 3. Okay? 
Ang grade 1 lang to. Topic natin. Find the indicated term of the sequence whose nth term is given by the formula. Ay, ano pala, pang grade 8 pala, hindi pang grade 1. Find the indicated term of the sequence whose nth term is given by the formula. We have number 1, a sub 12. And we have here po, ang 8 pang 8 at pang 10. So the first one, we have a sub 12. So a sub 12 is equivalent to 12 all over 12 plus 1. So the answer here is 12. 12, 13 po. Okay, as simple as that. Now next, how about the 8th term of this one? So this is 8 all over 8 plus 1. Answer? 8, eight, over, eight, nine, eight, eight over 9, sir. Okay, next, how about a sub 10? 10, 10 plus... over 11 po. 10 over 11 po. 10 over 11 po. Tanong? May tanong ba? Not Wala po. Okay. Not okay. Sir. okay, next. What is the fifth term of this one? In one minute, go. Answer. Yes. 25 over 25 over 3, sir. 25 all over 3, sir. 3. 25 all over 3 is our answer. Next, find the sum of the series. So, meron tayong 3 dito. Meron tayong 1 sa index. So, ito, ito yung ating susundan na formula. So, as you can see po, we have the i. So, lahat ng makikita nyong i, dyan papalitan natin ng 1. So, punta tayo doon sa first. Kasi ang first niya is a sub 1. So, yung 1 natin, gagawin natin, yung 2i natin, 2, 1, minus 1. So, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. one. So, ano yung ano, pangalawa? Yung pangalawa naman, 2 times 2 minus 1. So, equal to, na yan? 9 po. Okay. What? What is a sub 2? Then Nine. a sub 3. Ilan yung a sub 3 natin? Sir, five. Five. It's 5. 2 times 3 minus 1 is 5. Hello? Bali 9 yung a sub 3. Ano ba ang tanong niya? Ano ba yung tanong niya? Basahin niyo ulit. Find the... Sum of the series. Okay, the sum is equal to 5 plus nine. 3 plus 1 is equal to 9. Yan. Next. O, oh, kunin nyo itong isa. Kunin nyo itong isa. Okay naman. Go. Finding the sum of the series. This is one half of n. Start kayo sa 3 ha. A sub 3, A sub 5, A sub 6. Sir, naka-record po ba ito ngayon? Opo, opo. Naka-record po tayo palagi. A sub 3, A sub 4, A sub 5, A sub 6. Tawagin natin si Ralph. What is your A sub 3, Ralph? Ralph, what is a sub 3? 3 halves po. 3 all over 2. How about... Ano yung natatas ng kamay? Yes, Miss Cantor. a sub 2 is equal to 2 po. a sub 4. What is a sub 4? a sub 4 is equal to 2 po. How about a sub 5? Si Kurt, Kurt, what is a sub 5? 2.5 po. 2.5? Uh, can you give me a fraction? 5 over 2. Okay, 5 over 2. How about a sub 6? Yes, lastly. Miss Basangan. Basangan. Lastly, what is your a sub 6? Kaparinig. Si, ano, si Sheena. Maramba Balesteros. Sir, 3 po. It's 3. Now, can you please get the sum of this one? What is the sum? The sum is 9. 
Nine. Thank you so much. This is the same with our first example in finding the sum of the series. That's it. As simple as that. Ganyan lang po kadali. So, okay, mali dito when it comes to distributing the numbers. Yeah. So, wag na wag kayong mali dito kung ano yung start, ha? Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo pala palagi. In the relative position is not always equal to 1. Depende yan, no? Otherwise, if it is, it's like that. Kapag sinabi po, kapag yung n is equal to 3, yung relative position mo, mag-start ka sa 3. Though, the relative position is always, uh, sometimes, uh, usually, nag-start sa 1. But, depende yan sa problem, no? So, as you can see in our second problem to the right, uh, the right equation here, starts as a 3. But our left equation starts as a 1. Okay, yan po yung sinasabi po kanina. Next, we're going to expand. So, what is the dip difference of the sum and expand? We're going to expand, you're not going to get the sum. Example here. So, write the uh, ex expanded form of the summation of x raised to i as n is equal to 1. Yes, uh, from 1 to 5, yeah, so from 1 to 5. So we're going to expand this one using this equation, x sub i, the answer here is x, then 1, or just simply uh, remove 1, because x has an imaginary exponent of 1. If you have x, then we have plus x sub 2, plus x sub 3, plus x sub 4, 4 plus x sub 5. Sir, stop na po ba kami dyan? Yes. Sir, kailan nyo malalaman, sir, kung mag-stop na po kami? Depende yan kung ano yung nap sa upper limit mo, which is 5. Your index is 1. That's why we have 1 here. The upper part is 5. That's why we stop at x raised to 5. And that is the answer in number 1 problem. Now, you give me the expanded form of this one in 30 seconds. What is the expanded form of x as a mission of 5, n is equal to 1, as a mission of x raised to n, and s raised to 2n, and n is equal to 1 to 5? Answer? Hello? Can you please raise your hand if you get the correct answer? Yes, Kurt, again. Sir, 2x plus 2x squared plus 2x cubed plus plus 2x raised to 4 plus 2x raised to 5. Is it 2x? Is it 2x? Sorry, sir. Don't fall. Is it 2x raised to what? Ang po na lito. Okay, just copy the variable x and then you have the exponent of what? What is the first exponent, Kurt? The first exponent is? x squared. x squared, x x x squared plus next. x 4. x 4. Next. x x 6. x 6. Next. x 8. Next. x 10. Next. Next. x 12. Po. Sure kayo? Ng 12? Sir, hindi na po hanggang 5. Okay, and that is the module number 2. As simple as that. Diba? Madali lang. Kailan ka, ma kailan ka pa mag-stop? Diba? Mag-stop ka na kapag wala ka nang nararamdaman. Tama? Uy, sumagot naman kayo. Wala akong kausap. <laughs> Mag-stop ka kung ano yung upper limit mo. Tama? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever it is. Kahit 10 yan, ay, pag dinerecho mo, ay, wala, kailan, kailan mo malalaman kung kailan ka mag-stop. Dapat may goal ka. Ang goal natin dito is 5. Okay? Ang goal mo is siya. Dapat siya lang i-goal mo. Huwag na marami. Isa lang. And 1 is enough. Alright? So, do you have any questions about series and sequence and sigma notation? None po. None? None, sir. Malinaw ba? Yes, po. sir. Yo, so, I think you're ready now. You're ready now to do to module number three, the most complicated.